Stampers. It's Gigi with Stamp Fanatics and today we're going to make some cute little note cards using one of our new sets called Every Occasion and it's just got about every occasion on there and I'm just loving this set. The other one that we're going to use for our sentiments is going to be Teeny Tiny Wishes. This is an older set. It's still great. It's got tons of different um, sentiments on it for just about any occasion. So those are the two we're going to be working with today. Also, the reason why I really, really loved it was years ago, Stampin' Up! had the spooky bingo bits, and these were all the tiny little stamps that you could use for um, this one for Halloween. And then they also had a bingo bits, which was all your holiday, Christmas design, winter design, snowflake, snowmen. And um, I just have never thrown them away or given them away or done anything with them because I absolutely love them. So I was really thrilled to see this one come out and again, just have something for every month of the year. So today we're gonna just make this cute little Thinking of You card. These are great, these little three by three cards because you can use them as a little enclosure card and a gift. You can put them on the outside, hole punch it and hang them on the outside of a gift bag and um, or stick them in an envelope and mail them if you want. But um, I just think they're great to have on hand. And so we're gonna make this one today and then I'm gonna show you some of the other ideas I came up with using some of the other stamps. So what you're gonna need is just a very few supplies today. It's gonna be a, a three by six Whisper White and it's scored in the middle at three, which I'm just gonna fold. And I like to get a crisp fold on my card so I just take my bone folder and kind of seal it down. And then the only other things I used was a little bit of trim on my card, if you notice. And this piece is just a quarter of an inch by three inches. And this one is a half an inch by three inches. You can use any designer paper. I'm using our Bright's Collection um, designer paper, but any of your designer paper will work. You can coordinate it with whatever you're doing on your card. So to get started, we're just gonna stamp that little flower. And since it's summer, I just thought of sunflowers and how pretty this is. So I just kind of bring it down a little bit because I want to leave room for that border up there. And then I just took my Stampin' Write marker in Daffodil Delight and I'm using the brush side. And I'm just going to kind of color it in a little bit. And a lot of times when I'm coloring, I draw from the outside in, that way I don't have a lot of bleeding or anything going on outside of where I want to color. So just kind of start from the outside and draw in. And that's it for that. This is a very quick little card. And then I'm going to use my Memento ink again. And I'm going to be stamping my saying, thinking of you. And again, I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take my snail and just put a little bit of ink on the back. You might want to just push it under if it overlaps a little bit. And I'm going to be sticking that right at the top of the card. And the bigger piece, which is the half inch, at the bottom. And that's it. And there you have it. Real simple little note card. So to give you some more ideas, these are ones that I saw when I went to the convention this summer and they were doing presentations on these cards so I just pretty much am doing the same thing, a little just for you. Of course you always need a little happy birthday maybe to go on a cute little gift. And then I added one of our enamel dots up here. These are so cute. Um, okay, this one is for New Year's. Happy New Year's. And I just used some gold foil paper to make it more festive. I did a happy anniversary. And this one I did just did with the bells. And I did the silver. But you could do any color. And then they have the cute Merry Christmas. And so I just stamped it in green. And then I just took my real red marker and colored it in red. And then added some of our Christmas paper that we have out, our designer paper. And hopefully this gives you lots of ideas. I, I didn't make them all, but I did make quite a few um, from our collection. And again, the stamp set 
is called every occasion. So you can see there's still more that you can do in the fall, Easter, uh, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, baby gifts, Hanukkah. Uh, there's another one for Hanukkah, some stars, fall pumpkins. There's just such, so many ideas you could do. So I hope I gave you a few and please don't forget to sign up and subscribe if you like this video and give me a thumbs up and hope to see you over at stampfanatics.com for more ideas. Thank you. Ooh.